Hey YouTube, um, today I'm going to be making a video showing you how to uh, put a muzzle flash on a gun in a video. Um, you're going to need to upload your video to Windows Movie Maker and it's going to look something like this. Depends what um, you're doing in your movie. The side angle is usually the best, not head on towards, it's either head on towards the camera or side angle which is the best. Okay, first thing you're going to do is you're going to find where your first shot is and you're going to pause it. You can go frame by frame uh, using these buttons then you're going to go to edit split then you're going to go to snapshot take the picture and save that as shot one and then you're going to want to save it and take it to your editing uh, software I'm using paint.net which um, is free it's very good it's a lot like Photoshop but I find it better and if you're using this, you're going to go to layers, import uh, layer file, and you're going to choose your muzzle flash. Now, with this muzzle flash, you have black background. It's usually best to have a black or, a, uh, yeah, a black background. You're going to use magic wand to get rid of the black background. You're going to select the muzzle flash, and you're going to resize it and move it to wherever you want that fits the barrel. So, you're going to move it to fit the barrel sort of right next to it with no gaps or anything which is the best and you're just gonna resize it to whatever size you want and you're gonna do that for however many shots you have I think I have four and uh, I'm gonna pause this and uh, just save it and what you're gonna do you're gonna save it make sure you save it as a JPEG or you won't be able to use it in Windows Movie Maker and it'll ask you to flatten it which basically puts both pictures into one which is what you want and you're gonna go back to movie maker find your picture with the muzzle flash you're gonna insert it in between the two videos that you've split go to edit go to time on screen or whatever it's called and go to put it as 0 0.05 and you want to test it and see what it looks like if it looks if you just see it for a split second um, if you can't see it 0 0.05 you can usually see it but while they're editing it might not show up so afterwards you want to do that on every shot like I've done here and what you're going to want afterwards is sound effects to make it sound realistic and what I've done is I've got my iPod touch and bought the eye gun and it's got a range of guns that you can use and uh, what you're gonna do you're gonna go onto eye gun you're gonna choose whichever gun you want I'm using AK-47 which uh, gives the best sound hold on I'll just no thanks um, roll AK-47 and now I'm, I've got a double sided jack I think it's three and a half millimeter and what you're gonna do is you're gonna plug it into the headphones of the iPod like this and plug it into the microphone of your laptop it should have a microphone or it'll have a pink ring around it and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to Audacity which you could download for free off Google just search it in Google and put Audacity and record the gunshot and then what you're going to do is you're going to select everything without the noise of the gunshot delete it and then you're going to save it as either gunshot or the name of the gun you're using and you're just going to want to play it back to make sure it sounds right and what you want and after you've done that you just save it um, with audacity you can't you don't save as you go to say uh, you go to file export and I'm gonna call it AK 47 I've already saved it make sure you save it as an mp3 or a WAV or WAV file and then again like with the splitting and putting the pictures in you're gonna find the moment you shoot which is um, here and you're going to add the sound you're going to go to home add music add music to current point 
go to wherever you saved it there you go AK47 put it on and then play it sorry I don't have any sound that's coming through the speakers but you're going to want to play that back a couple of times uh, make sure it sounds alright and um, there you go I've added all of them on now and um, just need to listen to them all make sure they sound alright and here's the finished product uh, the example of uh, what you're going to have 